Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu, and this is Charlene's Chocolate Factory for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. Another scenario from Radrian 94. Healthy eating is up and profits are down for Charlene and her chocolate factory. How is she going to popularize her sugary snacks once more by building a theme park on top of her chocolate factory? Your objective to achieve a monthly profit from food, drink, and merchandise sales of at least 1,200. So once again, then we have entered the roller coaster universe the rcu an alternate universe in the original in our universe it was of course charlie and the chocolate factory but in this universe it's charlene and the chocolate factory and look you've got is it the great glass elevator it's the good glass elevator okay close enough then um so 1200 isn't a lot for food, drink, and merchandise sales. All we would need to do is get a few guests in, ram the umbrella price up, wait for it to rain, and we'll smash the goal. So obviously that's too easy. Now, when we've done ride profit goals in the past, I've done a few times Poundland, where every ride is a pound. So what I'm wondering is, can we do this scenario when every shop only charges a pound profit. So what do I mean by that? Okay, so in the example of the kiosk, when I don't think we're going to be able to sell maps for a pound profit. So what we'll probably do, we'll probably just take that down to 10 pence break even. With the, the umbrella though, what we'll do for that is we'll put that up to three pounds and then that way then profit price them sold one pound. For the sake of the hot chocolate, we'll raise that up to £1.40. So we get a pound profit there. The ice creams, pound forty, pound profit there. I think you get the idea. Additionally to that, you're gonna have uh photo sales as well on roller coasters. Speaking of which, let's go through. Where's the gate? Where is the gate? Where is the gate? There you go, there's the gate. Free entry, so we're charging for rides. We have got some transport rides. We've got not a bad selection of gentle rides. Hmm, an iffy selection of roller coasters. No thrill rides. Um, okay, a river rafts and a decent selection of shops. Okay, so I think then what I'll do is I'll do like my tower defense style strategy where I'll have one way, a one-way system of paths with the ride exits feeding onto that path and shops on that path. And then hopefully then that will be enough once we get enough guests. If you're not sure what I mean, don't worry. Hang on. You'll soon see what I'm talking about. July year one, we are researching thrall rides. I forgot to tell you that, but it's fine. Don't worry. Only a couple of months has passed. So I've redone some of the paths, got rid of the double pathing that was around the place, tidied up, kiosk toilets on the corners. Um, right, so we've got some maze spam there. We're never going to make a fortune off these, but they will bring guests into the park, charging a pound to go for there. For rides, there's no... There's no uh, limit on how much I can charge for rights. So we were struggling to get the cash in, but then we unlocked the enterprise. We're charging £5 a go for that. That's great. So the exit comes down here from these, and it funnels them past these shops down around the corner. And then we've got another little bit coming up and back down. And then if they want to re-enter the loop just there, they can. Um, I am a bit concerned about overcrowding on this. I mean, we've got nearly 600 guests in the park at the moment. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see how we get off. Um, so on this path, I'm going to make this one way as well. Everything's pretty much going to be one way. So they're going to come down here. If they go on the ride, great. They exit onto this path and they come down. We're going to have a series of paths like this all the way down with some better rides. Hopefully. So we're still researching thrill rides. Let's see what else we've got and we can carry on building down. October year one. So we're up to £401 from food and drink sales. Uh, well, profit. Anyway, um, so we've got a couple of my 6x6 six six designs just along here. Decent stats on these. This is going to earn us some decent cash. Bringing the guests down. I've rejigged some of the paths in. 
to get them to fit in with this system. Um, there's loads of guests there, isn't there? <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It's too crowded here. Click on that. Click on the mini map. There you go. You know exactly where it is. Click where it's flashing. It brings you back to here. So yeah, it's definitely this this part here. We'll see how it goes. I've got another trick up my sleeve if we need it. But for now, the plan is just continue building down. Still researching through all rights. Let's see what else we've got. We've got another space here. One thing I noticed is we can't terraform, which is a bit of a shame because I did want to do some underground pathing with, with these 6x6 rides in order to link up better with the other paths. But it's fine. We'll, we'll, there, are, there are ways around it. Um, so we just need to carry on. Um, ugh, we're about a third of the way towards the goal. So, you know, it's I didn't think it would be easy. Um, maybe it's going to be a bit trickier than I thought. October year two, we've... Unlocked 3D cinemas and top spins, and we've got them down there. And we've researched in roller coasters, and they've got something I'm happy with. Some of the other roller coasters that came out, um, there was the wooden coaster, the mouse junior, some of these. Yeah, I'm not going to go for that. I want something I can build very small and something with a photo section. So I've got this little version of my loops coaster, and it's called Choco Loops. So at the moment, I've got it on full speed. Um, but eventually, if we do get a problem with overcrowding, I think I'll, re I'll reduce the, the the speed of it down. We'll increase the number of laps, and then hopefully that'll get some extra guests off the paths. And who knows, maybe they'll be happy enough to buy some photos. Um, five people have so far. So we're charging £1.20 on the photo sections, getting £1 a go for that. At some point, we will have to reduce the price down. But for now, I think we can save this design and then tile them across. So, so far, let's have a look. What are we doing? Yeah, less last month, um, which is, you know, it's not great, but um, <laughs> right tickets, not doing too bad, but um, shop sales, not very good. Let's have a look. Are there any months? Yeah, they, it probably rained those months. So, yeah, we're only, you know, we're only charging three pound to give us that one pound profit on the umbrellas if we added up to uh, 20 we'd have smashed this by now but that's too easy and there's no fun in that anyway it's time now to start researching shops hopefully we'll have things like balloons and hats and t-shirts and all that kind of good stuff because then guests can build by multiple ones then they can buy a t-shirt they can buy a hat they can buy a balloon all one after another Fingers crossed. October, year three, and um, we've got just over 500 last month from profit from food, drink, and merchandise sales. So less than half of what we need. Look at that rating. That's what the problem is. So unless the rating is high enough, guests won't spawn in, and we need a lot more guests if we're going to pass this scenario. And you can probably guess what the problem is. It's too crowded here. Mini map. There you go. Here's the problem down there. I've put a couple of uh, entertainers down there. It's not really happening. So, oh, before I explain what I'm going to do next, I've got a couple of big, big, big bits of scenery down. Um, hopefully, guests will think that looks quite pretty. Who knows? Maybe we'll win an award. But the plan here is we haven't got enough pathing. We need more pathing. So what I'm going to do is this little gap there behind the balloons. Oh yeah, speaking of balloons, we've switched research off because we unlocked balloons. Let's have a look what we got. Look, we got balloons, we got sunglasses. Um, I suppose these two things could be handy. That's it. So that's not great. So the plan is I'm going to build a ramp up behind where these balloons are and I'm going to build a path then coming down here and coming down there. I'm going to add a couple of shops along the way where needed. Um, and when I build shops, I will put no entry signs along to make it one way system because I probably haven't explained this. Well, not recently anyway. So every time they go to a shop, it's a decision and they can turn around and go the opposite way. The one, the no entry signs mean that if they do turn around, they can't go back the, the way they came. They have to continue going forward until they eventually loop back around. So, yes, the plan is 
add another path loop. Hopefully then the overcrowding will stop. The, get, the rating will go up. The guests will start spawning in. We'll get more sales from and profit and all that sort of nonsense. And we'll pass the goal. April year four. And look at that green arrow next to the guest numbers. We've got 900 guests. So we've got this little path coming up here. Comes all the way around. Comes all the way down here. Down to the end. We've got some shops and some cash machines and stuff down there. We've got the Choco Loops just there. Set to a slightly slower launch and more laps. Get more guests off the paths and hopefully they'll be a bit happier. And they'll buy more on-ride photos. Let's have a look. It's just finished. No? No? Come on. I didn't finish. Okay. You know, in your own time. I would pick the one that's probably just started. Ah, there you go. It's finishing now. Let's see how many photos we sell. One. Oh, okay. We, a few more than that. No, that's not great, is it? Okay. So, yeah. We're £635 last one. So, it's going up. The more guests we got in, you know, the more profit we're making. So, I think it's only a matter of time until one of two things happen. Either we pass the scenario or we'll start getting more problems with overcrowding. And I think if that happens, we'll just build another path loop. May year four, we've got almost 1,100 guests in the park and we've got the green arrows. We're still going up. But look at that. We need 1,200. Last month, we were 30 pence short of that. Not even a pound. I was looking back and forth at the at the profit screen and it was fine at the start of the month. But as the month got on, I was thinking, well, we're getting a bit close here. And rather than just stopping, pausing, getting the calculator out and working it out. I just put the screen recorder on just in case and it ended up we were 30 pence short. And wow. Yes. So let's have a look then. I've added a few shops and stalls along that route. Um, Let's have a quick check. Have we are we failing on anything a second? Let's check out the shops by profit. Wow, look at that. Umbrella. Uh, no, sunglasses. Wow. Okay. So what's well that's not even open. So there you go. What what are we on? Sixth of May. Okay, plenty of time. Sunglasses store, that's fine. Funnel cake. Oh, there you go. Look. There's the 30 pence there. Um <laughs> Uh, donuts. Oh, I haven't even, do you know, I haven't even put, right, we know that's fine. Popcorn, what we, that's fine. Ice cream, st yep. Balloons, yep. We know about balloons. We're fine with balloons. Um, coffee, that's fine. Right. Cookies, that's fine. Okay. Let's sort again. Let's go up to the top funnel. What? That was a bit weird. <laughs> Must be some sort of glitch there. There's no way we've sold that many funnel cakes. In, or have we? Who knows? Let's have a look. Shop sales? No. Um. So I think we we might pass it this month then. I mean, look at the guest numbers. They're doing well. Look at that rating. The ratings are maximum. Fantastic. So, and look at that. As soon as the park rating went up, the guest rating has rocketed. Um, so I think we can be safe, safe in the knowledge that there isn't harder guest generation on this scenario. So why don't we fast forward it then? And then, and we'll see. We'll see how we do then. We'll do it like that. There you go. So we've got the date on and we've got that. So shop sales. I'm almost at 900 minus the stock food and drink sales. So looking at that, we've got 1700 minus the, I think we're going to do it this month. So we've got 1200 just in the shop sale. So obviously you've got to minus off the stock and we've done it. Stew. <laughs> awesome. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure if it would be 
easy or not? And and you know what? Once we once well, I, sorry, I've got a hair on my on my screen that I'm. I'll just ignore it. I'll just ignore it. Um, let's try and get that back up there. I was trying to get the hair off the screen, and obviously as I'm trying to pinch it, it's zoom in. Um, look at that right. Look at the right tickets. Wow. Yeah. So what do we finish off on? Thirteen hundred and fourteen seventy. Um, was it was it the funnel kick stall? Was that was that what it was? No, that's that. It might have been actually. It might have been. Look, just the wow. The guests are going nuts for the funnel kick. I suppose it is a chocolate factory. Look at all those umbrellas. All those uh, balloons. Do you know what? We could have made a picture with them. Oh well, maybe next time. Um. Yeah, that was that was. I quite enjoyed that. You know, I I do enjoy um doing and like some sort of industrial uh, rollout of of rides and shops like this. And you know, if you can't go industrial on top of a factory, when can you do it? So yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, once again, another cool scenario from from um, Radrian. Um, but I mean, it would have been a bit easy if we just. If we'd have just done it normally. I mean, we're only charging a pound profit on everything. So, yeah, that was cool. That was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll um, I'll be able to get back on to finishing the Terra Hank pack. Just one scenario left in order to complete that. And, um, and then we can have a look at going back and starting the main series again. This time... Less of a focus on smashing the goals and more of a focus on making the parks look pretty, whilst also beating the goals, of course. So, yeah, this was Charlene's Chocolate Factory from Radrian94. I've been Stu. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>